All right, zero one of one here. We are back for our third video today. Yeah, um, I just, I did too much work and I felt bad not having it all in here. So I put this little tower here to mark the center of our new little platform area here, which you can see is slightly bigger. Um, and then if we drop down this hole right here, uh, you can see that we're building it down a little bit more on the end. Um, I did have to get uh, some more, I had to use some of my tickets, unfortunately, uh, to get some of these inverted corners for the foundations and stuff. And uh, so we're kind of using this. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a foundation that can fit that particular angle, so we're just going to have to wing it, I guess. But uh, we're going to have this whole area down here open for whatever. Um, and then we can build up over in this area too. And then I wanted to have this area down here just kind of open to just the water. Uh, just because, and of course it's dark out, so I apologize. I picked a terrible time to start this. Um, but yeah, so we got to run this out that way. Uh, I got to figure out where we're going to go over with that. Um, but yeah, so we got this kind of sort of going. And then if you look over there, you can see that we also did a lot of work um, with the tower here. Uh, it's not exactly the easiest thing to see. This is not a very good angle for it, I think. But uh, we did manage to get these things kind of fleshed out a little bit more. You can see the pieces that we don't have because Satisfactory just doesn't have them, or at least not that I know of. Uh, maybe they'll be in there later. Um, but yeah, so I got that one done and I got that one done. I also removed uh, the stairwell that was around the outside. And then, I th yeah, that wall right there uh, actually has to get taken out. That's why it looks kind of weird right now. Like it should have that, right? Not that. Because I want to be able to see that from all sides. Um, but yeah, I mean, we can we can take a look over there a little bit closer if you want, but seeing as how we're not live, you know, you don't really have a choice, so we're just going to do it. Um, and then uh, I got all of the belts uh, in here to go all the way through. Okay, so, and then I also got uh, the other irons, um, the two other iron nodes that weren't being collected, they are now being collected. Uh, we also managed to get power through here, so that's what that line is. We also have a uh, hyper tube to get from one side to the other side a little bit easier. And then if I can just get a little higher up here, you can kind of see what's going on. Um, but yeah, can I get up all the way onto the top? Yes, I can. Okay. So yeah, and then it's just, it's kind of what it looks like. So we've got uh, three irons coming in now, and that's uh, 240 iron per line. So 720 iron total, 240 limestone, 240 copper as well. So we'll hop back down. And then uh, hop over here, and you can kind of get a better idea of this. Once again, I apologize that it is night, and this is when I decided to start. So I'm kind of dumb for doing that, but, you know, sometimes it's just how it is. Uh, I ended up going to uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken for lunch, and uh, it was delicious. And I got a Dr. Pepper for the drink. And I think they messed up the mix a little bit. So I've got a little bit more Dr. Pepper syrup or whatever the flavoring is in there than it normally should have. And it tastes amazing. And I'm actually very, very happy that they uh, made that mistake. Oh, hey. Did you notice that that does that? See, like back here, it's all the way closed. Then you get a little closer, it starts opening a little. And as you get closer, it opens up the rest of the way. I didn't know it did that. That's weird. Okay. Anyways, uh, so this is kind of what it looks like going down through here, right? And uh, yeah, so there's just a walkway around here and all the levels are pretty much the same. Um, there's nothing really too different here. Uh, we can't get through here because we have the stairs there. Um, so if we go back over here this way, you'll see that we do have a ladder here. So if we take the ladder down without dying, Preferably. So then that'll get us down to the next level. Okay. And that looks basically the same as the other one. 
Um, I do have to get rid of that one wall of, let's see, where, where was it? Is it, oh, no, no, it's below us. Okay, so no, I gotta go down one more. Okay, so over here is the next ladder. So we take that down. <clears throat> so not the most glamorous way up and down, but it does work. So, you know, I'll take it. All right, so now we gotta go out. I should just run over and get that thing, do you think? I mean, I could literally jump from here and make that. Uh, I don't know, okay, anyways. um, Yeah, so this all needs to go. Oh, and I still have that there. Oh, I don't need that. I got rid of all that. Okay, so is that every, nope, we got the corner right there, so that does not need to be there. That does not need to be there. Okay, I think with that, we're good. Yeah, I think we're good now. Okay, so walls, this one, throw that in there. Okay, sir, can you soup? Okay. So I don't like that you can't put like, a, you know, like a little holes for the elevator, whatever things in there. That does kind of suck. And I don't like that I don't have this particular piece, which is like this piece just inverted. Um, don't have it. So it's just gonna be kind of missing there until Satisfactory decides to put it in. Um, okay, and then, um, so this basically looks the same as the other side. Then we have another ladder going all the way down to the bottom. And then I had this running while I went and grabbed lunch and also was eating lunch. So I should have a decent amount of tickets, I think. Four tickets. I mean, that's not terrible. I'll take it. We're doing 960 per minute. Okay. And I think I used up all of the other tickets that I had. So that's all I got right there. Okay. So that is, oh, we're missing that wall too. Dude, can we get all of that from here? Am I gonna miss one? I think, I'm gonna, I, think I missed one. Can I get it up there? Yes, I can. And I can't see back far enough. Um, okay. Can we, okay, this is not, gonna be a good jump, but we're gonna try it anyways. That was a terrible jump. I was trying to make it up on top of there, but um, okay. Uh, this does not need to be there, nor does that, nor does that, nor does that, or that, or that. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the extra stuff in there. That'll be good. Okay. Then we get to keep all the good stuff. Okay, so um, I think I need to get, there's a ramp right there. Uh, I don't wanna get sucked in, so okay. So I should be able to see, yeah. So we did miss a couple more, which is fine. Uh, looks like that is gone and out of there. That is gone and out of there. And I already checked that side, so that should be good. And then we don't have diagonal walls that can go across here either. So until we get those, these are just gonna remain open. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's that's pretty much everything we got going on here. Um, we've pretty much removed everything that does not need to be here. So, oh, that went up quite a lot. Interesting. 
Okay, so uh, we can head back up to the top. And then back over to the starting area because we've got everything that we need over there now except for coal, which I'll get to eventually. And then, uh, yeah. And we're just kind of waiting here. Okay, it looks like that's the sun over there, so we should be hitting daylight now, which will be good. All right, so there we are, morning. Um, okay, so I need to figure out, okay, so if this is the center, so then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, good. And then from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we have an extra one, two, three blocks out. Okay. So I just have to take off probably the front section here. Um, so we have three blocks open, because I think we got two right now, yeah. So easy enough. And then with this, uh, everything should hopefully uh, be good to go. Okay. Now, do we have... Okay, we're going to need... I should probably... So this is the last of my concrete right here. And I already had to make some myself, which I really am not a fan of, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Uh, so which one is the limestone? That one up there, okay. So, um, now before I start just like throwing stuff down, I do want to try to plan all of this out if I can. So we are going to block this off. So once again, this is like our receiving, I guess, area. And uh, I do want to make sure. That it's kind of like its own specific thing, you know. Got lots of that. Good. Good. Okay. Now the only problem is how do we get in there? Well, we gotta put something around the corner. So do that, do that, and now we can get through. Okay. So that will also help me kind of figure out what we've got going off of here because I should be able to see that on the belts. Okay. So then this specifically is receiving, right? This whole whole blocked off area here is all receiving. Um, so let's see, so we'll do that. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Walls, do do do. And then I don't know if I want to do like an angle here or because I mean like I could, right? I'll just, I'll leave it for now. I'll figure it out once I get to that point. Um, okay, so logistics mark three, go there, go there. All right, so <clears throat> we have iron here, good. And then everything else I think is coming out over here. So we've got our copper, iron, another iron, and then our limestone there. 
Okay, so um, I think the next thing that we have to do is then put our foundations out here to the wall and then run those out that way. And I'm not going to have enough. Right. And that was kind of like the entire thing is I didn't have enough uh, concrete. So we'll do that. Um, okay. So I think now as a stopgap, as in this is not going to be a permanent thing, uh, and because it's not going to be a permanent thing, I'm going to make it look as ugly as possible. <laughs> so that way I know that it does not belong here. We're going to go from there, down there, on a huge diagonal just because. And then we need some constructors. That is not the right place. OK. And then also to make this look as ugly as possible. Once again, this is just so that way I don't keep it by accident and say, oh, this doesn't look too bad. No, it looks terrible. Don't do it. OK. So power is actually coming through on a double plug here. So I think I'll run a double plug over there. Um, OK, so double plug, and we'll throw it kind of not there, but there, I think. And then we'll run this to there. And then that is how we'll get power to the main area of the base. And then I kind of, I kind of want to put glass on the front here as well. <laughs> uh, but not like all the way though, just like, you know, just like a little bit. And I need more concrete. OK, so you know, just to kind of give it like a little bit of character, I guess. And then we can run this out to here. I'm not worried about it being perfectly in the center. And I need concrete. I really need concrete. OK, sir, if you don't mind, concrete. Just run this to all of them, and then they can all make concrete for me. And uh, they take 45 limestone in, I believe, and they'll put out 15 concrete. So I'll just let it run for a little bit, grab what I can, I guess. We got 20. Um, OK. So with that, I think I probably need more than that. Um, and then I think what I'll do here is I will merge it all and throw it into a container. And then if I have to get rid of the container later on, you know, I'll have a bunch of concrete made. So that should work out pretty nicely, I think. Okay. There we go. So that'll just start pumping all that goodness right in there. Be lovely. Yeah, so 45 in, 15 out. Kind of what I thought. All right. And we have concrete. Uh, OK. OK, 
so question, do I want to keep this open space kind of consistent through the base here? Do I? I think I do. Dude, this zoop is like so nice. You have no idea. Okay, those can both go, and then we can run this to there. Okay. So, um, okay, so interesting thing about having that three extra spaces here is that three spaces there is exactly the same length as my receiving area here. So kind of kind of interesting how that worked out. And then I want to put this on the bottom. There we go. Now it looks a little, I don't know, more together, sort of. Gives it a nice look, I think. Okay, so uh, we need to continue putting the small stuff on the bottom. And then building this out as much as we can. Okay, and that can go all the way out there. All right, now I do want to know like what this looks like from far away because I do want it to look sort of like a boat or like something that can float anyways. So I'm going to head over to the spire real quick and we'll just kind of see what it looks like. Oh, and I had to get all these belts in there. I had to refill twice on the uh, the steel bar or steel beams. I think restaurants should make it a rule to um, um, not dilute their uh, Dr Pepper mix to the normal limit. <laughs> I think it should be a requirement to uh, have it be a little bit stronger, more Dr. Peppery. Okay, I mean, it sort of works, right? It sort of looks like a boat, kind of, sort of. I mean, I got to get that side over there in there too, but it looks like it could be something that could float. I wish I had like a better vantage point, I guess. Even higher than the spire. Yeah, I mean, I'm cool with it. I'm good with it. Uh, I did not mean to fall down there though. Oops. Okay. So one thing I did notice is that we need some additional coverings over here. So we'll do solid coverings, at least for that part there. Um, because, we, well actually we probably don't even need this here anymore, right? Or maybe I can leave it and put a thing with the door, but I don't have a thing with the door. So I guess we can't do that. Okay, how are we doing? Still good, okay. All right, I'll run that, going that way, going that way, and then going that way. 
Okay, so that's going to be this side, and then we're going to have this whole area under here just for whatever we need it for, basically. Um, okay, so now we need this guy. Of course, it doesn't like placing on the side of walls, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is, I suppose. Can we do this, maybe? And then we're going to need to do that again over there. Okay, now from here, it'll let us do it. And then I need to do that thing over here as well. Sir, I need you to actually build. Okay. And then we need this guy to go here. And then we can get rid of that, get rid of that, and get rid of this. Okay. So now we'll have that nice little kind of edge there. And uh, can't really do anything about this because we don't have anything that can match it. So I don't know. We'll just leave it for now, I guess. All right, and then uh, we need this to go through over here, two, three, four, and then we need to go off of that fourth one that way. Okay, and then put this through. This is how I don't accidentally fall off when I'm running around here because that is most definitely a possibility. So, all right, so I think I think that'll be okay. All right, so question. Should I do like all of my basic stuff down on the bottom and then do like the, the more advanced stuff up here? I mean, that might be a decent idea. I think. I mean, I honestly do think that that would be a, a good idea. Um, but the question is how much do I want to dedicate towards that because I mean we're gonna have like a ridiculous amount of pieces and parts of stuff right and then another thing that I want to do over here in the middle is have this be um, the area with all the goods right so like the storage area And then that's going to be interesting. And I really want those glass platforms. I think that would be kind of amazing. Um, but then how wide do you have to make it, though? And that's the question. I mean, I suppose you don't have to do anything like too super crazy. But you are going to need like a lot of room for it. So I'm thinking if, if I center the containers on this line here, then they'll end a little bit past here, which will give me from here all the way through here to the next line uh, of just space to run through and look at stuff and kind of give you an impression of what's going on. Now, the question is, how many things can I make with just what I've got coming in here right now? 
and how many things will I be able to make? Because we're going to have the oil coming in through here. We're going to be making plastic and circuit boards and computers. But if we go with just the basic stuff, then we've got... Well, it's, it's a lot, actually. Um, okay, so if we, if we give ourselves... Gonna have to have an odd number, so 11 on either side. So that's five past the center point. So one, two, three, four, five. So then if this is where our storage area is going to start, here, right? And then we need to run this out as far as it'll go. And I need a lot more concrete for that. Because I mean, we're gonna have a lot of space for like building and stuff. And we can always make this taller. So then if we go over here, so let's see, that's one, two, three, so one, two, three, four, five. So then from here to here is gonna be storage of stuff, basically. So then we're gonna have to get rid of some of this. And then four more. Again, imagine if I had to make all this by hand, like how long it would take. It'd be ridiculous. Okay, so if we are assuming that this is what we're going to be using, um, okay, so then if we do industrial storage, we would definitely be using these large ones. Okay, so I said that we would then move it off of, and then I could actually move these a lot closer instead of having spaces between them all. So if I did it like that, then it would probably be a good idea to have this start in the center, right? And then we'll just do however many it's gonna take. So that's two, three, Four, five. Okay, so that saves us a whole two blocks of space, which is good. Um, okay, so walls. Okay. And then I'm gonna need this area back here for all of the spaghetti, which will likely be back there. Um, I could get rid of this, just have that be like that, and then just have this be kind of on the front so you have an idea of what's in there, but then you don't see all the mess. Because trust me, there's gonna be mess. Um, and then I think for now, we can run that out that way. All right, and then we can move this in two blocks. And then 
we can get rid of these. Okay. <sighs> okay. What next? Um, I am going to need... It looks like those should be like LEDs or something. But I don't think they actually work. But yeah, so I'm going to need uh, the displays so that I can, you know, write what's in each of these things. And I think they even will have an icon for it, which will be, you know, amazing. Otherwise, the way to do it is just run this out to there. And then whatever is in there it will spit out just that far. And that's, a, that's another easy way to do it. Okay, so then we're not going to need that. Then we can do that, and then that, and then that. And then from here, all of this can come out. Something like that anyways. And then I think over here I did kind of the same thing. Like I mirrored where that ended. Down there, up here. Okay, yeah I did, okay. So then I'll just do that real quick. And that ended here. Okay, so then one, two, three, four. And then that can go that way. And then we're going to need a lot more concrete. OK. And then we'll run that out. And we'll run that out. Now, do I have enough to continue to make these? I can make another 12. OK, well, for now, we'll just go with what I've got here. Um, and then I'm just going to take out that block, maybe. No, it's probably not a good idea. Um, I just need to mark like the center of this whole thing, so I think that's how I'll do it. It's like here it is. This is the center, and that'll kind of help me balance out and like arrange like sections for things, which I think will work out okay, hopefully. Okay, so. Ah, uh, okay. So what is the most complex basic thing that you can make? And that's going to be the reinforced plate and the rotors. So if I take a look at what you need to make those and then kind of work it backwards, I can figure out how much raw material I need. So let me put an assembler on here, take a look. OK, so oh, actually, no, these are, these are the most complex thing that we can make out of the base stuff. So if I did this, we would need three reinforced iron plates per minute. This puts out five per minute. OK. No, no, no that, I think that'll actually work out. Because then the extra that I make here, I can store. And then whatever I'm, once I have, you know, full storage, then whatever isn't uh, being used can then go and get sunk. 
so I think I think that'll work. Okay, so that's going to be 30 iron plate. That requires three, well, no, that's 30 per minute. So let me see. Well, because we want to make more than what we're actually using here. So let me throw in a constructor here. That'll put out 20. Okay, so then if I use two of these, then I'll have 10 extra plate. Okay. And then what else does this need? This needs screws. Okay, so screws are kind of a pain. Um, and I think those come out at what, 40 per minute? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So let me hop down here and kind of cordon off an area. Okay, so if this is the center, I feel like I should mark that. There we go. Now we can kind of see a little lower than everywhere else. Okay. All right, so first things first is we're gonna need iron to come down here, right? Okay, so that will go here. And then we'll run this out this way. And we'll run out that. Uh, I don't know if that actually shows through though. It does, crap. Dang it. You're not supposed to do that. Um, okay. So then maybe we won't put this here. Um, we could uh, put some of these here. So we get at least an extra half foundation of space to put stuff um, and then it doesn't you know seek through and then if we really want we can slide under it so I don't know okay so what we're gonna need then I'm just trying to think of how I want to run the belts for this. And I'm putting this up on a platform because I do want to run the belts underneath. But do I want to run facing that way or do I want to run facing this way? It's kind of the question. And then if I can, I want to try to hide the belts as much as I can. So I'm thinking I might use the, these. And then let's say we get a, not a constructor, but a, a smelter on here, right? Uh, I don't like that. Um, smelter. I want it to get a little closer. Basically, I want this to feed directly from here into there, is what I'm looking for. And I think that did it. Okay. So now I can go onto the underside here and then pull that off of. Um, let me see, splitter, there we go. And we'll have a splitter run this way. Now I think this will work. Just like that. 
So that'll go directly in, and then we'll run everything out through here. This is going to have to get replaced with a 2 by wall. Sir. Uh, but that's off. Dang it. Okay, hang on. We'll do this again. It'll work, I promise. Okay, so splitter. Now that's lined up. Okay. So I'm hoping that this can still be bitten. It does not, but I think that's because I have that on there wrong. Okay, splitter. Try this again. Ha! Ah, it does. It clicked. Perfect. Okay, that that makes me happy. All right, so we'll have a fast line coming in, and we'll pull 60 off. And then that'll get me 30 iron. 30 iron ingots. And then we'll do basically the same thing, just kind of repeat the pattern. Uh, okay, smelter. Going this way. I think that is not correct. We we're off by one. Okay, try this again. There we go. The, fa the fact that they made these things that way you could actually build on them instead of just having them show up so that way you could mask the clipping is amazing. I am extremely happy that they did that. Okay, and then we have a nice little walkway back here, and it looks so clean. Okay. And then, let's see, we'll get another splitter going through here. Okay, and then another one of these things going there. Okay. So having the fast line go through with slow lines coming off means that we'll be able to feed more. I mean, we're still using the overflow method, but we'll be able to feed more through uh, before we actually run out. Um, okay, so that will get us 60 per minute. Um, I don't know how much we actually need, though. And then once I get the uh, pieces that can kind of go under here, like I'll get that on there. So I can make that look a little more closed up, I guess. More official, maybe. And then I wish I had something that could cover that up so I could just have the one hole here instead of having this just looking at nothing. But I don't know. Um, okay, so let me go back up to the top, kind of run over what we need. And then also pick up more concrete because reasons. Okay, so that five requires 30 per minute of iron plates. 30 iron plates per minute requires two of these, so that's 60 iron per minute just for the iron plates. Okay. Okay, so then with this, we'll have everything that we need for the iron plates. And then, uh, let's see, I want to have this be somewhat close again. Because I want this to kind of go perfect. Reverse it again. Okay, good. Go. Okay, so now it goes up, goes through, gets processed, goes straight back down. That is going to make me happy. 
OK, so from here, uh, we then need to get this over to uh, some constructors. And I think I want to leave this kind of be so that we can see kind of what's going on under here, but you're not actually going to be able to, you know, go under there. Although with it being dark and everything, kind of get a lot of glare. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, another thing that I could do, just for shits and giggles, is run this like that. So you can literally see through here but you don't get any glare. And it gives you like a nice little, you know, open area thing. I don't know. OK, so um, OK, so next thing is getting power down here. And then we can do that with a power pole in the right spot. So if we put a power pole basically where that thing is. Sir, get off, get off the rail, man. Okay, so then if we run down here into there and then we run from here directly under. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so if that's here, then we know that it should be directly under there, right? So then if we get rid of this, that is not where it is. Okay. So it should be under this one then. Watch, watch me get it wrong again. It'll be hilarious. <laughs> Got it wrong again. Okay. One more out. It's got to be this one. Oh, but it's a little, little off. Okay. So let me put this back on here. We'll go back up, replace uh, that. And by replace, I don't mean swap it out. I mean, like, place it again. Power. OK, get off of the rail, dude. OK, so we'll place it there. All right. So there we go. That is that. All right, now if we get rid of this, that should be directly above it. So then we can go from here down to here. That makes a solid connection through the floor. And we just got to cover it back up again. And there we go. Now we have power down here. So good to go. And then uh, let's see. This guy, I want it to go kind of directly under here if I can. That looks pretty good. That should go straight down. Yeah, that's pretty good. That can go there. That can go there. And then we get one pin or one wire, one plug per machine. And then because it's under here, you're not really even going to see it. So should be good to go. And then these should have power. No power. Why why you know have power, sir? Oh, because I forgot to uh, reconnect everything up here. Cause I'm smart. There we go. OK, so now that should have power. And we are yellow. OK, good to go. So that will be good there. And then we need to get um, 
our iron down here somehow. So do I have iron on the bottom anywhere? No. Okay. I think I'll pull off of this one because reasons. And then we'll put it here. Yeah, that'll work. Then we're gonna need a Mark III coming out of here. That's not gonna work, is it? No. Um, I can go off of here. And that should still keep everything kind of out of the way. Right? Yeah, we can still sneak stuff by there. Okay, and then get that going. Oh, I'm supposed to reverse that. My bad. There we go. Okay, so then that's going to run all 120, 240 down to here. So let me get this thing going that way. And then I should probably start connecting this up. And then we'll run that up to the sky. I wonder if there's a building mode. There is not. So we can't have this do uh, 90 degree turns here. Kind of sucks, but you know. I don't think this is actually going to be terrible doing it like that. Okay, so that is going to run up through there. Start feeding into there. This one should turn green. There we go. And now it is doing its thing. That one should. That one will not turn green because it's not connected. Okay. There we go. So now that one will turn green as well. Okay, so with that, of the 240, we are now pulling off 60. So there is 180 left. And honestly, I should just do this for all of them. And then whatever I'm not using, I can put somewhere else. So if we have 240, each of these pulls off that, so we're gonna need eight. Does that sound right? Yeah. Okay. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we'll just take one full line and make it all into uh, iron bars. There's that. Okay, we have to reverse this. Okay. Okay, 
So that will get that going. And we need that to go there. So that's good for that. And we'll have all of these make the iron as well. Okay. So that's that. Everything has power. And now we just need to make sure that they all get what they need. Okay, now we need this to go into each of these. Oh, hey, check it out. It's got like, uh, see the arrows going up there? Is that supposed to be like that? No idea. So then that will get that all the way through there. Now all we need to do is just hook this up, have that shoot through. And then if this thing is running at 100%, it should use up all of the bars, or all of the belts, or all of the ore. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you can just ignore me. Um, okay, so let's go ahead. Oops. Uh, I need rods. Okay. Let me just make a ton of them. Actually, I need to go over here. Okay. Iron rods. Make all. And while that's doing that, I'm taking a drink. So like, as the ice melts, it like equalizes the mix out a little bit more, so it tastes more like like a normal Dr. Pepper. So I mean, like that would be an awesome marketing thing, like if restaurants did that. Because I mean, what's like one of the main complaints that people have about soft drinks at restaurants, right? Like it always gets watered down. So if you started off with a stronger mix, then if you add in the water from the melted ice, and then what you end up at the end, once the ice is mostly melted, is like a normal, like how it's supposed to taste, soft drink, or soft drink. So, I mean, like, get her done. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we can go over here. Okay, and now we'll just have all of this go down. And that's gotta be like that, good. So there we go, super, super, super clean. Like 
ridiculously clean. Like I am, like I don't even have to wash my hands, it's so clean. Okay, so with that, we're gonna have a lot of iron bars being made. Okay. And then uh, I think from here, um, we should probably start figuring out what we wanna do next. Now I'm not too concerned about space requirements here. Um, I just want to make sure that it looks nice. So we will grab some constructors, get these as centered in here as I can. Um, there was a comment that you could place multiple things in like certain patterns by using the dismantle something or other. Uh, I don't know how to do that. I've never heard of that. So if that is a secret that exists, I would definitely like to know. Because if it'll make uh, my building faster, then that just means that I will be more efficient. Okay, so we're just going to run all of these for now, like this. Um, I don't know how we're going to run all the belts for all of this, so just kind of keep that in mind. Um, I th think we can run... Okay, yeah, so that will go directly in. Okay. And then we can figure out all the spaghetti on the bottom where we won't see it. And then we're also gonna need to run outlets down here. I think in here. That is not quite where it needs to be, but it's close enough. See, we're kind of on the line here. Okay. So that is good there, and then if I wanted to power these, just need to connect there. Okay, so now all of these have power. Okay, so first things first is we need to make plates, right? Okay, so that takes 30 per minute. This puts out 30 per minute. So then getting this is pretty easy. We just need to go from here and then straight up into there. So we'll get that going. Okay, so that'll go there. And then we needed two of those, right? Yo, what are you doing? Did this go in there wrong? Needs to be reversed. Okay. There we go. Okay. So that'll pull in from both of these. Okay. Now this guy. 
goes in there, and then you get told to make plate. Okay. So now we have 60 plates coming in. Okay. And then I'm going to build another couple of these things down here. Okay, so that needs... Okay, so I'm going to need two of these. No, one of these. That only needs 30 plates. Okay, how many are you making? You're making 20. Okay, so that's how that works. Okay, so we now are making an abundance of plates. Uh, we need 30, we're making 40. Okay. So I suppose the next thing that I need to make is um, figure out how many screws I need, right? So that's going to be two sets of constructors. So if I make screws, I need 10 rods to make 40 screws. So then if I need two of these, so then I need 20 rods. And then if I do go with rods, then this will make 15. OK, so then I need two of these. So two of these, okay. I'm just trying to figure out how I have to run everything for it to run properly. So what I need to do here now, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I said it needed 15, right? Yeah, 15 in, and that puts out 30, okay. So logistics, and then we're, so what we're going to do is we're going to have that feed into a splitter. Okay, so that's 30 coming in. And then we'll feed some of these. Actually, let me connect everything up here first. So at least everything is going the way it's supposed to go. Okay. And that'll help me down on the bottom, because now I don't have to reverse anything. It should know which way everything is going. Okay, so then we go from here to here. So that's going to run 30 in. OK, and now we get to the difficult part. So we have this coming down, right? And we're going to have to merge this in here somehow with another line. In fact, we're probably going to have to merge all of these. OK, no, I, th I think I can make this work. And then if we go from here into there, so that'll take the 30, split it off into both of these things. We get a nice little S curve here. So that's pretty much exact spacing for what you need here. Uh, you're not going to let me get up there, yeah. OK. So now you will make rods. Okay. You will also make rods. Okay, so that's going to be our 30 rods, and we need what, 10 to make screws? Okay, so that'll put out 40. No, we need 20. Okay, and we're making 30. Okay, so that gives us a very slight amount 
of extra, which is what we want. Sir. Okay. So we have all of this being made to do what it needs to do. Okay. So now we need this to reverse. Do I need to go at this from a different angle? There we go. No. You should just stay the way that you were. Eh, whatever. Some more plates, grab some more of these. Good to go. All right, so we have all of that, and now we need to take some of this and make it into screws. And then I also need to start figuring out what to do with the excess and how to get that out. OK, so these two things have to get merged together. And then we're going to pull them out through here. So let's go ahead and get this thing going. Sir, should I make this three? I feel like I should make this three just in case. OK, so now I need to put in Okay, how do I need to do this? So I need to merge the two together, which I kind of want to do here, right in the middle. But then which way? Do I want it to go afterwards? I think we can just put it in here, I guess. Okay, so then that will both merge all the way in here, and it'll shoot out this way. Uh, this, can't really do anything with that at the moment, so this probably will not be where we pull this out. Okay. Okay, so then the next thing that we need to make is screws, right? Right. Okay, so we can merge these two together as well, because that's what's going to have to happen anyways. Have that shoot out this way. So I don't know if, like, Coffee stain like did this on purpose, but like the spacing for this is like absolutely freaking perfect. So I don't I don't know if this is like a thing they did on purpose or if it just kind of happened that way, but uh, yeah, definitely happy with this. Um, 
Okay, so we've got our plates coming in, we've got our rods coming in. Um, the rest of this and the rest of that, I think we'll leave for now. Unless... Okay. So I'm going to put a smart splitter on here. Give myself space to replace the belt. No, I'm, I'm not going to need to replace the belt in the future. I'm never going to have to replace the belt. So let's, I mean, unless I'm redoing like the entire build. Okay, so if we do that, okay, so that'll be more than fast enough. And then we can have the right be overflow. So that'll come out this way. And then we can have this go back in through here. And then feed these. So let me see. So if I do a splitter here, I do that. Oh wait, no, 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 that's gotta go down to here. Okay, never mind. Just ignore me. Yeah, so input is down here, so we need to go over here. I think that is correct. So then we need to feed this splitter from this side. So then we can run Okay, so if we're gonna run here, then we need to go one, two. And we'll run it here. And then if this needs to go here, right? So then one, two, and then run. Nope, that is not the right place. So we need to go back again. I think we need to go four back. Because we have to do a double bend, right? So first bend, second bend. There we go. So bend here, and then another bend here. That's how we get that. And then somehow that is not straight. OK. That correct, sir? Yes, that is correct. Okay. And then out of the left is going to be anything, right? Should be going down and through, right? And then get merged here. Go out through here, okay. Then the left output should be any. OK, 
and now it's saying any undefined, but any did not work. No, now any is working. That's that's just weird. Okay. So now these will go up into there. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So that's these next two have to make screws. Okay. And then these screws will get merged together down here. Okay, merger. Okay. Okay, now these are coming out at 80 per minute. And then we'll have our extra coming out this way. So that's our overflow, right? Yeah. So then that'll be our extra stuff. Maybe I can have that come out here. So then if I did another smart splitter here, And this time I had the right be overflow. Then I could have this go out this way, this go out this way. And then the overflow should be less than 60. And then we can just run this out through here. And then this will go to here. So then this will go one, two more. Walls three by, sir, place please. Thank you. Sound is working right, yeah, okay. Sorry, I had a, I didn't see the little bar thing moving, so maybe I'm just not talking loud enough. I don't know. Um, okay, so, that can go out that way. This can go out this way. And then, This thing is gonna have to go back there as well, but then we're gonna have some overlap, which I'm not a fan of. But maybe I can actually help that out a little bit. So if we put a wall in here, and then we run a wall mount here at that level, uh, we should be able to run from here out above and then not have any uh, clipping of belts. Hopefully, anyways. Okay, but I do have to leave s at least this room open for these last uh, constructors. Wait, wait, no, these are outputs. For, okay, yeah. Okay, so I have to figure out how to get all of this to work in here as well. I could run it out the back, I suppose. And then this will just be extra bars that are being made. Yeah, I think that'll work actually. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that then. Um, I don't actually need a merger here, but we're gonna do it anyways. Okay, so that's gonna go this way, and then we'll do another one here. Uh, 
Oh, that's too close on this one. Nope. Merger. Okay. And then for here, we should be able to take this and just dump that directly into there. try and sneak stuff through, which will be fine. And then all of the extra bars that we'll have here will go out on this side. Okay, so extra bars going out here. Good to go. So now we can take this guy Have that go to there. And then over here on this side, I think I had that blocked, right? Yeah. And then we can just put in a basic wall here. And then we'll do the kind of open area type thing here. All right, so another thing that I want to check um, is how many tickets I have now. So let me just build something real quick. Ah, awesome sync. Luckily, I can make it. Um, let's see. You can go down to here. Power that thing. What do we got? Two more tickets. I'll take those. And then we'll head back and grab all the other tickets because I don't want to put a wall under there, uh, you know, where I have the little wall mount thing. Um, so I want to see if I can get the small pillars and get them unlocked and then see if I can use those under there. Because I know that you can put like wall mounted stuff on pillars. So I think that'll it'll uh, work out quite nicely, I think. Alrighty. Tickets. Okay, so we have six tickets. Is that enough to get? Okay, that's concrete pillar. That's frame pillar. Do I want the frame pillar or concrete pillar? Or the metal pillar? I can get all of them, I suppose. I mean, I have to get it all anyways, right? Okay, so that should have unlocked all kinds of fun stuff here. Okay, so we have little frame, little concrete, little metal. So now I can figure out which one I want to use and then use which everyone I want. Now the only bad thing is I used up all of my tickets, but you know the glass foundations aren't super critical yet anyways, so it, it'll be okay. Now, I know that you can make these things go a lot faster by putting entrances and exits right after one another, but it would be nice if they just implemented like a supercharger, you know, just to have it cost like a ton of energy, you know, um, but then it just kicks you off like super, super fast, like especially for like long, long range stuff. 
Um, so it doesn't take you so long to get through it. And actually, hold on, let me take a look at this view here. So if I'm going through here, then when you're going into here, apart from those being in the way, the first thing that you're going to see is the big open middle area there where all of the pieces and parts are. So I think that'll actually work out nicely. Okay. So let's sneak under here. All right, so we need to go under here. Okay, so instead of having this here, I want to know if I can put this here. I should have left that. Dang it. Yeah, see, because now, because it pushes off so far. Okay, so hold on, hold on. We can just redo that again. And then we'll do that thing there, get rid of that, and then we'll put a uh, small concrete. What does small metal look like? Okay. Small metal frame, that's not going to work at all because obviously it's not connected to anything. Uh, let's try the small metal. Okay, I kind of like that. All right, so next thing that I need to do is make another smart splitter. And I need to make another AI thing, AI limiter chip, whatever thing, uh, which requires, what was it, 20 of these things? Yeah, 20 of those, okay. Good to go. Okay. So now, logistics, smart splitter. Okay. Wait, 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 why is that? I thought I had this so that way I could. They're not actually connected. Okay. That one is connected. I can't tell. Yes, it is connected. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to have overflow going on the right. Okay, now we should be able to get enough lift to get in there like that. Okay. Okay. And then we need to snake this through. Okay, so if that has to go through here. So we just need it to go to here. Okay. I think I can do this. Okay, so that'll go out. I think it's off a little bit, but um, okay, so small metal. I think that'll put it out too far. So if we put that there, and then we go into here and we throw that on here. Then that can go there. And then we can have it go down immediately.
Okay, so what is going on with this? We have a belt in there, yes. And it has plates, okay. Uh, left is where we've got the overflow. Okay, so that's gonna be anything. This is gonna be overflow. Okay, there we go. So now that's doing its thing. So we have our extra plate, our extra rods and our extra screws going out that way, which we can then collect. Um, okay. And then we can run these walls here again. Actually, we could get rid of this entirely now and say that that just kind of magically worked the way that it was supposed to. Or, 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 because that's already in the right place, and because we're going to have a double bend here, we should be able to go from here to there. Voila, all at once, nice and smooth, going around the corner, and then over with very minimal clipping, which I think works out nicely. Okay, so now we need to get our main outputs for screws, uh, rods for something else maybe. Um, actually, hang on, hang on. Okay, so screws with the plates to make this, and then these with the rods to make this. Right? Right. Right. Okay. Okay, so what I want to do here then, and you don't have things to do, which is why you're red. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so next thing that I want to do is we're going to run this out, but why is why did that not like me? Cuz I need plate. Okay. There we go. Now I have plate. Okay, and then I want to run these along the edge here. And then, uh, let's see, then I want to run hex windows kind of down along here. I don't like the way that looks though. It's so much glare. But I think because this is going to be towards this kind of area here, which is going to be open, I think that's okay. We can deal with it. Um, then we're going to need to have two things coming out. And because we need to have a solid thing over here anyways, now we can have that there, that there. So now we've got a um, thing, wall with uh, sockets. <laughs> I don't know, what are, we, what are we calling these things? Conveyor walls? Okay, so conveyor wall, open wall, set. Yeah, two open walls, conveyor wall, two open walls, conveyor wall. And then additionally, we've got a two conveyor wall, a three conveyor wall, and then a two conveyor wall. So it's, it's all kinds of symmetrical down here, which makes me happy. Okay, so next thing is going to be to place these assemblers down here. Um, I'll take that one at the very least. All right, so now we got to figure out, so this has to be centered here, right? And then also centered 
this way. And it's going to be hard to tell. I mean, that kind of all fits within one box, right? Or do we want to move up one? Hopefully that is centered. That is centered. Perfect. Do we want it to be centered on a crack, though? I don't think we do. OK. So then if we center it here, that pretty much fits inside that. Left with a little extra room over here, which is fine. OK. And then we'll throw in these little uh, lift hole things. Put one there, put one there. We'll put another one here. So that can go there. Reverse it. Good to go. OK. So that can be fed there. OK. And then I need to make a rotor. Rotor. That should give me four. OK, so that's what I need. This is so clean. Like, it is, like, ridiculously clean. Kind of boggles my mind a little bit, actually. OK. So then we need the next one to go here. Right, right. And then we need the conveyor whole things. OK. Reverse it. Okay, and that can go there, that can go there. Okay. <clears throat> Next thing that we need is power plugs. I want this to be kind of under here. I guess right there. It's about as close as that's going to get. Um, okay. And light, if you don't mind. You guys are probably yelling at the screen right now. I can't see anything. It's too dark. I apologize. And then this needs to go over to here. OK, so that's going to make the modular frames. This is going to make the reinforced iron plates. OK, good to go. All right, so first things first is I need the plates and the screws to go into this one. All right, so plates and screws in here. Good to go. So let's see, logistics, mark one. And then we'll run that into there. OK, so that's all the screws that we're going to need going into there. And then uh, rods, plates, OK. And then this has got to come out going that way. Or I could have this come out. No, that's got to come out going the other way. OK. So let's see, going that way. And then this one has to come out going this way. Oh, wow, did that really work out that freaking perfectly? 
dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, this is this is like kind of ridiculous with how well it all works. Okay, so now the hard thing here is going to be Yeah, cuz that's we don't have space for a bend in here between these two. So how can we do this? Because we also need to put in um, uh, an AI limiter in here as well for a smart splitter, which I should probably make one of those. And I'm also going to need to make a couple more rotors as well. So let me just make those real quick. Okay, so two of these. And then four of these. Two, three, four, and one of these. Okay, good to go. And if you're wondering how I'm jumping through this, as I get over here, I sl crouch down. But because I'm running, it kind of acts as a slide. And then I just kind of jump like right as I hit the wall. And then it just allows me to go right over it. So pretty easy if I do say so myself. OK, so then that will go up into there. And then I need to get from here into here. OK, so I think the easiest way to do this is going to be to pull everything off from this side. And then depending on how I do this, the smart splitter, because these are, I think, properly spaced, uh, we're going to need an input over here on this side. And then I need to figure out exactly how that has to be to make that turn. And I think it might be there. I think. I could be wrong. Nope, that actually works out quite nicely. That does not. OK, hang on. Let's move this over one. So now that one works nicely. This does not. <laughs> OK. We can make this work. OK, so smart splitter here. Um, OK, so here. Nope. Offset. Here. Yes, I think. OK. So then a lift, mark one. OK, so that does go in there the proper way. And then we're going to have to finagle that somehow. Unless I want to run it this way. I could do. And then we'll just have the overflow go this way. And then straight out that. OK, so then overflow comes out the left. And whatever is not being used goes there. And now I need to this to snake through here and get to here. Okay. Challenge accepted. 
So we will go off this way first. And then we will adjust so that way we are in the middle here, which is where we need to go. Okay. And that'll pull us through here. And then we need to adjust again to get even with this level. Okay, so maybe we pull that through one more. Okay. Okay. Then we'll get this to here. And now we need to get it to line up with this. Oh, hey, did you know that this will try? <laughs> that is hilarious. Um, conveyor belt is too steep. But the fact that it tried is hilarious. Um, OK, so and I need rods. Sir, let me up there. Uh, plate rod. Thank you. Okay, so now we need this to go even here, which will be like that. And then this to go there. And then everything is happy. So definitely a bit of spaghetti down here. But I mean, it wouldn't be satisfactory if we didn't have that, right? Okay, so that is now making reinforced plates. And then once that is making those, that will send those through here, supposedly. Um, okay, sir. What you doing? Oh no, it is sending it through. Okay. Aha. Took a little while to get through that. Okay, good. So that is now doing that, and we will have modular frames. Um, it is very slow. Uh, it is meant to be slow. I'm not trying to do like 50 million parts a minute here. Um, and we have a couple of extra constructors here that we can use to make things if we need. Um, rotors would probably be good. But I don't really have space for those over here. So I mean, we, we have we have more room though, so we can always you know move stuff around if we need it. And then we're also making a lot of extra bars here. So something I could do just to keep everything running is uh, just throw all the all the extra bars that are being made and just have them go into a, a resource sink. Or an awesome sink, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. Uh, OK, so I mean, we have room for more stuff over here if we need it. And we are making a ton of extra bars here, so we could technically make more stuff if we really wanted to. OK, and then this guy is going to have to go over to here and then out to here. OK, so now we have some of those being made. Um, these are not going to overflow for a while. So we're not going to have any of those ready, but these will probably overflow pretty quickly. 
So that will be fine. And uh, yeah, I think we're uh, making some decent progress here. that off, sir. Okay, is that better? Okay, yeah, that looks better. Okay. So, a little bit of protection, you know, we do have machines working here. Why does that feel like that's longer? Oh, because I'm misjudged. I'm thinking that this is the break in between this side and this side, but it's actually here. OK, so that's, that's fine. I am good with that. And then we can run this through to here. Probably run it all the way through. Right. And then if I really wanted to, I could have some stairs here. In which case I can get rid of that. And then instead of having this here, I can put in just a straight up corner piece. There we go. Then we have a way up over here. And then we can walk along as we need to. And then we'll put another one of these over here. Sir. I could just put like railing up like on the whole thing. That would probably be easier. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay. So that was a lot. Um, and we're actually right at two hours, too. Two hours, three minutes, and 54 seconds. So there we go. We have our very, 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 very most basic of basic stuff made uh, all the way up to modular frames. So I think that'll be a good stopping point for here. And then I can't believe how absolutely clean this looks. Like, this is beyond clean. Up here, anyways. Down here, it's a different story. But <laughs> that's why we put that down there. But up here, I mean, it's just, it's just clean. It is so clean. So clean. I am very happy with this. I mean, like, if I was going to make a factory, like, in real life, like, I would want it to be clean like this. Or you don't have, like, a bunch of stuff all kind of flopping around everywhere. Um, people can come down here and just be like, oh, look at how look at how neat and orderly everything is. It's like, I don't even see, like, any waste products, like, anywhere. Like, what's going on? And it's like, oh, no, you just got to go under. And it's like, and they go down here, it's like, what the f <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> but, I mean, even for, like, down here, like, this isn't... It's not terrible, you know? And then uh, all I got to do is just uh, grab all the parts and then uh, move them up into the storage area. 
figure out how I'm going to do that, I guess. It'd probably be a good place to start. Um, my guess is we're going to run these straight up to the ceiling and then just kind of do like a little bit of maneuvering, I guess, up there. At least as best as we can anyways. Um, that's kind of how that will go. I want to try to keep it to 90 degree angles if I can. But, I mean, we'll kind of see how that goes. Uh, 90 degrees because it's easier to stack stuff at 90s. Whereas if you have angles and you got to like match up angles and stuff, otherwise you end up with, you know, wedges and stuff. And no one likes wedges. Um, okay. So we have our plates. We have our rods. We have our screws. We have our uh, reinforced plates when um, that gets updated or overfilled, whatever. You, you know what I mean. When this thing gets full of those, then they'll start coming down. So, but we're at, we're making five per minute, so it's gonna take 20 minutes? No, that's if we had everything. So that's, uh, no, five per minute, and we need 80 more? 16, 16 minutes, roughly? Yeah, so, and then we'll start getting uh, the extras of that. And then these, if I really, really wanted to, I could just straight up resource sync these. And that'll give me some extra extra points um, because I don't, I don't need those yet. And I think they do give a decent amount of points. But then again, I mean, I'm not really too worried about it. And then over here, I do want to try to fix this somehow, not sure how, but somehow. Because I don't, I don't know, I just would rather have this go, you know, like a 90, you know? But it's it's fine, it's fine. Um, okay, and then uh, power's pretty much out of the way. It's nice and organized up there on the ceiling. Um, yeah, and it just, it looks clean, which I like. And then we're kind of adding like a little extra kind of detailing over here uh, on the part where you could fall off into the ocean because it seems like a good thing to have right there for some reason. But I think the main reason why I wanted this here is because it creates uh, a sense of separation and sectionalization for this whole thing. So I'm probably gonna have probably some copper works over here along with my concrete works down here. And that'll kinda do all of that stuff. Um, I've got enough room on the back here um, with these last two platforms and then however long this is um, to do rotors as well. And then I would have to figure out how to get those in here somehow. I don't know. Have those output over there, or I could just have them output kind of over here and then run along the ceiling uh, going down that way. I mean, that would, that would be pretty easy to do too. Uh, one thing I could do to run these things along the ceiling, if I wanted to, is we can go for these little basic walls, little one buys, right? And of course, it's not going to let me just place on the bottom here because why wouldn't it? That would make things a lot easier. But we can do those and then do uh, these and just kind of mount those on there and just kind of run them kind of along the side there if we really wanted to. Um, not super, super worried about that at the moment though. There we go. Okay, and then up here is gonna be mostly like display kind of stuff. So we're gonna have this whole thing in here filled to the brim with just all the parts and pieces everywhere. Um, I think that's gonna be enough for most of the parts, not all the parts. I think there's more than 22. 
uh, individual parts in the game. I think it's something like 30 something, but no, it's once you get into nuclear, it's a lot more than that. I don't know. Uh, I'm not, I'm not worried about it at the moment. Um, one thing that I do need to do is uh, find a way to get coal over here. That's going to be a pain, absolute pain. Um, and it would be nice if I could get an equal amount of coal compared to the iron that I've got going through. So I've got the 240, the first 240 of the iron going down uh, to feed the basic stuff. How much of this do I have right now? A lot. Okay. So I think we can probably get rid of this. I don't think we're going to need any more than what we've got. So I'm just going to get rid of this for now. Uh, we can have nice, fresh, clean slate up here. All right. And then, let's see. Get a little tiny box over here. Run that little box into there. And then throw all of that in there. And then we might as well throw those in there too. I want to see those burn though. Those are like a thousand each. So it's like 17,000 points right there. Not bad. And then that's just extra stuff there that I don't need. Um, okay. And then we can still come out of here with that. This is going to have to go probably down into here. Just to kind of keep with the whole, you know, look of things, I guess. We're going to reverse that, run that up to there. Um, there we go. So now that'll run down. Uh, and then we're also going to need this to run down. And this, I think we can just put that straight there. That does not, okay. All right, so we've got that coming down. We've got the copper coming down. Um, we're just gonna use all of the copper that we've got down there. Um, I don't think we're gonna have, I mean, Actually, now that I think about it, we are going to need some copper for oil when we start doing computers. I think that requires copper wire. Hmm. Hmm. And then another thing that I probably should start making is all of the uh, all of these things, right? So that requires rotors and plates, and then two per minute of each. Okay. And then this requires 2.5 modular frames per minute and steel beams. Automated wiring requires stators and cables. Okay. Uh, stators is steel and copper. Okay. So I'm thinking I shouldn't just have this go directly off of here. I think that's probably not a good idea. I think we should have it uh, split off if I can. And then we can actually do that relatively easily. So if we like put this, I think here. Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me put this in here first and then we'll figure out our spacing. So splitter, that's probably gonna be too close 
but we'll see. No, nope, that fits. Okay. All right, so now we'll go through here, and then if we need to split some off, we can. And then uh, I could limit how much I'm taking out of all of that. Like, I could just take half of that. And the easy way to do that would be to just flip this out, or switch this out, I should say, with a Mark II, because then that's only going to take 120 per minute. So then I've got 120 going down, 120 coming out that I can use for other stuff. So I think that will work. I just have to remember that I actually did that, though. Um, let me make a beacon real quick, and I'll leave myself a note. Uh, no, production down here. There we go. Beacon. Thank you. Okay, beacon. So we're going to put that right there. And then copper 120 per minute down. Okay, so left ourselves a note. And then we can see it on our map if we need it. And then these are just all the way just fully being used, which is what we want for those. Um, yeah. I think that'll be good. OK, so then I can just uh, modify my copper production, because I'm just going to be making like just basic copper stuff just for storage. Um, so we'll build that off of 120 per minute. And we'll just get as much as we can out of that, which I think will be fine. The other 120 I will save uh, for doing the space parts, space elevator parts. So I think that will be fine. And yeah, so the spire looks better. It, it's not what I wanted it to look like exactly, but I don't have the parts and the pieces to make it look like how I wanted. So it's just going to have to be what it is for now. Um, it will look better in the future if we can get the parts. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So that's pretty much all I've got for this one. Um, we can say our basic production is now complete. So that's good. And I want to see if we have overflow to this yet. Not yet. So we're at 45. Um, so it'll still take a little bit longer to fill that up. But then once it does fill up, then we'll start getting our extra stuff here, which will be good. And then that can get stored. So then we'll have that, 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 that. And then we'll have our copper stuff, which uh, copper and concrete. Um, and then I still have to do uh, the rotor over here. So that'll be for the next episode. Um, should go relatively quickly, I think. Um, but we will see. So we are now at 2 hours and 19 minutes. So I think we're going to call it good for this episode. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, hopefully you'll join me for the next one. But until then, have a good one. I'll see you later.